All right, today we're going to talk about arches. Uh, we are going to construct a semicircular Roman arch out of wooden blocks. These wooden blocks are all equal in shape, as you can tell, uh, and we have 12 of them. Uh, these wooden blocks are also called those swords. So in order to construct the arch, we have to support it during construction, and that's what this little cutout is for. And we'll just start putting one piece, one on top of the other, um, and, and we'll go up the building. As you can tell, as we're putting the pieces together, the pieces have a tendency to fall inward because of the gravitational pull on them. Um, but this is all prevented by the keystone once the keystone is in place. Now that the arch is complete, as you can tell, I can remove the center brace and the arch stands alone and can resist a lot of force being pushed down on it. Uh, the two reasons for this is that the arch holds force, uh, or resists compression force, so any force pushing down on it. Uh, these are called thrust blocks. Um, they prevent these last two pieces from kicking out once we push down on top of it. And as I said before, to separate, as you can see, as I let go, these two pieces come together, showing that there is that compression of force. The, the Romans were so good at making these arches uh, is because they made them so thick. Uh, the reason why they were so thick was because the thrust line, uh, which is the line of force going, moving from element to element, falls within uh, each force form. And as you can tell, this is a very stable structure. I'm going to demonstrate how um, a, an arch that is not as thick, whose thrust line does not fall within the, each individual uh, swore and how unstable that structure is. Here we are again. Set again, we have 12 individual pieces, all equal in size. Um, each crossbar is equal in size. And I'm using tape to brace it in order for me to be able to construct the arch. And the reason for that is the tape creates a tension force on the outside, which, create, which prevents from uh, buckling, which once I remove the tape, you will see how weak this arch is compared to the other one. this tape, this arch would not support itself. Um, and the reason for that is again, when you follow the force from block to block all the way through, it forms a catenary, and that catenary falls outside of the, uh, the actual structure. And as you can tell, if I remove the tape, like so, um, the structure is, is having a very difficult time standing up. Uh, and the reason for that is the, the buckling force is too great for the compression force when the structure fails. 